And I was very fortunate to have worked not with the Beatles, but with the Beatles individually, which is a whole other thing. There are some people saying they did Beatles records. Well, they didn't do Beatles records. The Beatles did their own records. They may have brought in, you know, musicians to embellish here, there, or whatever, but it was the Beatles did their own records. Some years later in the 70s, Phil, called, Phil Spector called me and he said, we're going to do John Lennon. Uh, we're going to do a rock and roll album with John. I said, great. So we, we got the band together, a bunch of the guys, a bunch of the Wrecking Crew guys. I got the, He wanted dual drums, so I got Jim Keltner. There were, in fact, it was Jim that called me originally and said, you know, would you play dual drums with me with John? I said, sure, I'd be happy to. It was for Phil. And uh, that's how that worked out. And we did all these rock and roll songs with John. And John was an absolute gentleman. I mean, the first uh, 30 minutes before the session when I would come in early, and he, we would do a lot of talking. He knew all about me. He knew all the records, all the Beach Boys stuff that I had done and so forth. John let in. And John was fine. Sessions. Uh, the sessions that we did were uh, older rock and roll songs. John loved doing them. And John was always an absolute gentleman. He'd been estranged from Yoko at the time. I met him for lunch one afternoon. He was just fine. He loved talking about Hollywood in those days. And he was a true Beatle. He spoke just like the Beatles. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. It really was a lot of fun. He came down my boat one afternoon, hung out for a little while. <laughs> 